Hi, so today we will be learning about the application of derivatives. So in this chapter we will be learning where actually derivatives is used. Now this topic can be divided into six different parts you can say. The first part consists of the tangent and the normals. The second part consists of rate of change. In fact, that is the most important part. The third part you can say consists of the approximations. The next part is about the Rolle's theorem and the Lagrange's mean value theorem. The next part consists of increasing and decreasing functions. And the last part contains maxima and minima. Now we will be understanding all these six topics one by one. In this session, we will be looking about the tangents and the normals of any equation. Before moving further into the topic, let us first clear out some basics. We know that equation of a line, the general equation of a line is represented by ax plus by plus c equal to 0. The equation of line in slope point form is represented by y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. The equation of line in two point form is y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 where x1 y1 and x2 y2 are the two given points. And the equation of line in slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus c where m is the slope and c is the y intercept. Again the slope of a line. The slope of a line is nothing but the tangent function of the inclination of a line. The inclination of a line is the angle made by the line with the positive direction of x axis. Okay. The slope of a line can also be found out if the equation of line is given. That is if ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is given to us, the slope of a line can be directly found out by m is equal to minus a by b. That is minus the coefficient of x upon the coefficient of y. Also, the slope of a line can be found out if the two points on the line are given. That is found out by m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So once you've understood the basics of straight line, you can see the final equation which is written here is the slope, finding the slope which is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Now y2 minus y1 that means the difference in the y coordinate and x2 minus x1 is the difference in the x coordinate. Difference in the y coordinate can be represented by dy, difference in the x coordinate can be represented by dx. So dy by dx, what is dy by dx? That is derivative. Okay. So what is derivative? Derivative is nothing but the slope of an equation. Now let us verify this concept using a simple equation of a straight line. The equation of line is 4x minus 2y plus 5 equal to 0. Now what is the slope of the line? That is found out by minus a by b. So that will give you 2. Okay. So let us verify this using derivatives. Does derivative actually give us the slope? So differentiating this equation of line with respect to x. Remember the derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of y which is dy by dx. It is also represented by y dash. Okay, so once we differentiate it, we get dy by dx is equal to 2 which is in fact the slope. So what is the derivative of any equation? The derivative of equation will give you the slope of the equation. Now this derivative or the slope concept is very easy if we consider a straight line. Okay, If we consider a curve, in fact the slope of the curve keeps on changing on each and every point. Let us have an example to understand this better. Now imagine yourself driving a car on a road which is climbing upwards and which is in a straight line. So the angle of the road with the horizontal remains constant. Hence the slope remains constant. That means the derivative will be a constant. Now imagine yourself driving on a road something like this. Now you can see at each and every position the angle made by the road with the horizontal changes and hence the slope changes. Hence the derivative of this function at every point will be different. You can see the first position, the car is moving downwards, hence the slope can be termed as negative. In the second position, the car is moving upwards, hence the slope can be considered as positive. 
In the third position, the car is exactly horizontal. Hence, the slope can be termed as zero. There is no slope. Now, let us understand the variable slope of this curved road using the derivatives. So, we have an equation in terms of y and the curve is represented as shown in the diagram. Now, we have to find the slope of this curve at two points at x equal to 1 and at x equal to 3. You can see at x equal to 1, at x equal to 1, the slope of the tangent drawn is in fact 0, right? It's a horizontal tangent, hence the slope should be 0. And whereas the slope of the tangent at x equal to 3 is positive as the tangent is moving upwards, so the slope should be positive. So let us verify or let us find out the slope of these tangents at the given two points using derivatives. Now, if we differentiate this equation with respect to x, I'll get an equation, I'll get dy by dx is equal to 3x square minus 8x plus 5. Now, we need to find the slope at a particular point. dy by dx gives you the slope, but that is the general slope at all the given points. Now, the first point that is x equal to 1, we need to substitute x equal to 1 in this and we will get the slope as 0. So, the horizontal tangent, the slope should be 0. So, we have verified that the slope is 0. Exactly the same way, if I substitute x equal to 3, I will get the slope of tangent at x point x equal to 3. So, the slope of the tangent at point x equal to 3 is 8. Okay? So, in fact, the derivative of an equation will give you the slope of a tangent at any given particular point. Okay? Now, we will take a few examples to understand this concept and what are the types of questions can be asked in the exam. So, in this question, we need to find the equation of tangent and the normal to the curve x cube plus y cube minus 9xy is equal to 0 at a point 2, 4. So, we need to find the equation of the tangent. Now, we know that the slope of the tangent is in fact given by the derivative of the function. So, first step, let us differentiate this function. The derivative of x cube is 3x square. The derivative of y cube will be 3y square dy by dx. That is the derivative of y minus 9 into, we have x into y. So, we will apply uv rule there. So, x into derivative of y plus y into derivative of x, which is 1. So, simplifying this and finding out what is dy by dx, we get 9y minus 3x square upon 3y square minus 9x. Now, we need to find the derivative at which point? At 2, 4. The value of x is 2 and the value of y is 4. So, substituting exactly these values in dy by dx, I will get the slope of the curve at that point and that comes out to be 4 by 5. Now, we know the slope of the tangent as well as the point where the tangent is drawn. We know the slope point form of a line y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. So, substituting x1, y1 as 2 and 4 and the slope as 4 by 5, we will get the equation of the required tangent. Now, once we get the equation of required tangent, we can now move on to finding the equation of normal. Now, what exactly is normal? We have a tangent which is drawn at a particular point. The normal is a line which is perpendicular to the tangent at the same point of contact with the curve. So, the tangent is drawn at a point 2 comma 4. Hence, the normal will be drawn at a same point, but it will be perpendicular to the tangent. Now, if two lines are perpendicular, their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Hence, the slope of normal will be minus 4 by 5, the negative reciprocal of the slope of tangent. So, now we know the slope of the normal, we know the point where the normal is drawn. We will again use the slope point form of a line. We will substitute the values of x1, y1 as 2, 4 and the slope as minus 5 by 4 and simplify it to get the equation of normal. Now, this time we have to find the equation of tangent and normal to the curve which is given in the parametric form. 
the parameter is theta here. So we need to find dy by dx somehow. So we'll differentiate x with respect to theta. We'll differentiate y with respect to theta. And we will divide them. So we'll get dy by dx is equal to minus 2 sine 2 theta upon cos theta. The value of theta is given as pi by 6. I'll substitute theta is equal to pi by 6. And I'll get the slope of the tangent at theta equal to pi by 6 as minus 2. So now we have the value of slope. But we do not have the point right now. So we need to find the coordinates of x and y. We'll substitute theta is equal to pi by 6 in the given equation of x and y. And we will get the point as 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. So now we know the point that is 1 by 2 1 by 2 and we know the slope which is minus 2. So we'll substitute them again in the slope point form of a line and simplifying we should get the equation of tangent. Exactly the same way once we have the equation of tangent we can also find the equation of normal. What should be the slope of normal? Remember the slope of tangent is minus 2. Hence, the slope of normal should be 1 by 2, the negative reciprocal of the slope of tangent. Hence, using the slope as 1 by 2 and the point as 1 by 2, comma 1 by 2, we should get the equation of normal as well. In this question, we need to find the point on the curve where the tangent is perpendicular to a certain given line. Now, the tangent is perpendicular to the given line. So what is the slope of the given line? It is minus a by b which will be minus 2. And hence the slope of the tangent will be negative reciprocal of that because it is perpendicular to it. So the slope of the tangent should be 1 by 2. Now we know the slope of the tangent. Remember what is the slope of the tangent? It is the derivative itself. So we will write down the equation of curve. We will differentiate it. And once we differentiate, we can now substitute dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2. And simplifying, we should get the value of x. Once we get the value of x, we'll substitute the same value of x in equation of the curve. We should get the value of y. And hence, the required point where the tangent is perpendicular to the given line is 4, 1. So we'll have one more example. We need to find the equation of normals to the curve 3x square minus y square is equal to 8 which are parallel to the given line. Now the normals are parallel to it. Hence the slope of the normal will be equal to slope of the given line. So slope of the given line is minus 1 by 3. So the slope of the normal is minus 1 by 3. What about the slope of the tangent? The tangent is perpendicular to the normal. And hence, the slope of the tangent will be 3, the negative reciprocal of the slope of normal. Now, we know the slope of tangent. That means we know what is dy by dx. So, again, differentiating the equation which we have and substituting dy by dx is equal to 3, we should get an equation as y is equal to x. This time, we didn't get a certain value. We got an equation, y is equal to x. So what we'll do with this equation, we'll substitute this equation in the original equation of curve. So substituting y is equal to x in the equation of curve, we should get the value of x as plus 2 and minus 2. Now, for both of these values, we also need to find out what is the value of y. So for x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2. For x is equal to minus 2, the y is equal to minus 2. So we have two points where the normals can be drawn. And hence, to find the equation of normal using the slope and the point form, we use the slope as minus 1 by 3, point as 2, 2. We'll get the first equation of normal. And using the point minus 2, minus 2, we should get the second equation of normal. So these are just a few examples where we can use derivatives to solve the questions based on the normals and the tangents. In the next session, we will be learning about the problems based on rate of change of a certain variable. 
which is the most interesting part and also the most important part as well.